guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I will show you how you can increase your credit income in World of Tanks. If you're interested in more reviews and gameplay, go to YouTube and search for World of Tanks with Bruce to get all of my videos or click on the subscribe button and now let's go. In World of Tanks, you constantly need credits in order to upgrade tanks or simply to purchase new tanks that you want to put into your garage. Especially high tier tanks can be very expensive, so you should know how to increase your credit income in World of Tanks. There are two things that you need in order to boost your credit income. The first thing is you need a day of premium account. Now, yes, um, you might ask yourself, well, I'm a free to play player, so how can I get a uh, one day of premium account? Well, the answer is play daily missions. So if you play your daily missions and if you accomplish those daily missions, sometimes you will earn one day of premium account. Now the next possibility is to simply play the battle pass. As you can see, I'm, uh, well, I consider myself to be a free to play player for the most part. And as you can see, just by playing the battle pass here, then there will be one day of premium account as well. There are also other missions that you can accomplish. Sometimes you will get one day of premium account and then also you can play different game modes. So for example, if you um, are accomplishing those um, different game modes, then sometimes you will be able to get another day of premium account. There are two other ways of getting a day of premium account. The first one is if you have an Amazon Prime account, then you can link this um, Amazon account to Twitch and then you can grab Twitch Prime loots. Um, this comes uh, approximately monthly and um, so in this Prime loot, there is um, regularly one day of premium account. So this is another way. Now, um, if you don't have this, then you can still go to Twitch because there are sometimes some um, events going on on Twitch and the only thing you have to do is get a Twitch account and then watch one of those events. And then with watching those ev events, you will get Twitch drops. And in those Twitch drops, there will be sometimes at least um, days of premium account. So those are the ways um, that you can get free days of premium account um, and you don't have to pay anything for it. The next thing you need in order to increase your amount of credit that you make in each game is you need a premium tank and I really recommend a tier 8 premium tank because a tier 8 premium tank will give you or will make the most um, amount of credits. Now obviously a tier 6 medium tank is also fine especially if you want to play mid tier. Um, however consider that lower tier um, premium tanks will not make the same amount of credits as top tier medium tanks. Now there is a possibility of getting premium tanks for free. You have to go to the bond store, so uh, store and then uh, click this icon here and then you enter the bond shop and you can buy all those tanks for bonds as you can see. So you have to earn bonds, you can earn them with accomplishing missions or with simply playing tier 10. Um, and there are quite some some nice bond tanks that you can buy. Um, I always recommend the um, Patriot because I do think that this is the best uh, bond or the best uh, premium tank that you can get in the bond shop. Uh, but there are also other fine tanks. I would say the AMX is also fine. The Senlac is new to the bond shop and uh, certainly a good tank because you can uh, yeah, play a light tank. And then also the uh, Panzer 58 Mutz got buffed recently and is certainly not the, not the worst tank I would say. So yeah, and um, if you have one day of premium account, if you have a uh, premium tank, then the only thing you need to do is you need to select one of your personal reserves. There are two kinds of personal reserves. There's the plus 25% credit income for one hour and the plus 50% credit income for one hour. So let's just activate it and let's then go to the battle. All right, so after we, we managed to get one day of premium account and after we have activated our personal reserves, we want to go into the battle, this time with our CS52 list. And we are spawning on Retro and let's first of all take a look at the map. 
spawning on Redshire from the north, the situation usually looks like this. And with the medium tank, you have several options. First of all, you can play defensively right here. However, this position might get blind fired from this position over here. And then you have the possibility to play over here, maybe in the little ditch right here, or you can go to the middle. And that is really depending on the situation. All right, so. In this game, I was thinking about playing playing aggressively because this is what I like to do. And in my opinion, the southern side does have a slight advantage um, on this map. And so my intention as being in a tier 8 only match was to play aggressively and to go to the E3 position in order to make the first spot on the enemy team and to immediately make some pressure on the enemy team. Now, if you want to make credits, obviously you want to play cautiously, so not to throw away your tank in the first minute or so in the game. However, on the other hand, obviously you want to have, you want to get a good result and so uh, playing somewhat aggressively, I would say, <laughs> I would call it a cautious aggressiveness is the way to go if you want to make uh, credits and if you overall want to have a good gaming experience. All right, um, as I said, obviously there are a couple of premium tanks in the game. You can play low tier premium tanks, but then also tier six premium tanks. But obviously the best way in order to make credit is a tier eight uh, premium tank. Um, the CS52 list is, in my opinion, one of the strongest tier 8 medium tanks in the game and if you want to know more about my preferences of um, or actually if you want to know my opinion of the best tier 8 medium tanks then check out my, my videos I made a, an explicit video about medium tanks and then also one about heavy tanks that you might want to check out okay, right, perfect so as you can see um, we have quite some heavy tanks which are not going to the zero lane, but which are instead playing the right flank. And I think that this is a very, very smart gameplay because especially the, the heavy flank on this, uh, it has a disadvantage on this map. Why? Well, because if the light tank, if the enemy light, tanks, uh, light tank goes to the right hand flank, let's say to the eight lane, then he can spot all the, um, all the people or the heavy tanks moving up here and so it is not a good idea for heavy tank to go here because you are in as i said in a in a um in a weak position compared to the enemy team all right so as you can see now uh, we managed to go into this position and here i just want to be the eye for my team as you can see the lighting the lt432 is in the classic light position which is fine by him however um i can make use of this bush because i can spot almost the complete southeastern part of the map and as I have support I can be once again the eyes for my team and can spot the enemy tanks and obviously I want to make sure not to get spotted on my own because I can collect all the, all the sweet um, spotting damage right here and obviously the best thing to, to make credits is to get assistant damage because then you don't have to fire a single shell and with not firing a single shell, then uh, obviously um, you don't have the uh, you don't have to pay for the amount of ammunition that you need. Now, obviously, if you want to make credits, then you should definitely concentrate on using silver ammunition and not the expensive gold ammunition. On this tank, the silver ammunition does have a penetration of uh, 208 millimeters, which is not the best value, but it is. It is enough, I would say, sufficient on tier 8. The gold ammunition, on the other hand, is superb with 252 millimeters of penetration. And so, yeah, sometimes um, the incentive is high to use, uh, to use the premium ammunition. But, as I said, if you want to make credits, then you should definitely avoid this. Um, and so, in this situation, as you can see, um, I could switch over to the premium ammunition um, in order to have a, a, uh, some kind of certainty to penetrate the upper hull of the heavy tanks um, um, down there. However, I definitely do not want to do this because I want to make credits in this game. Right, um, looks like the CS... Um, I don't know what I wanted to say is the CS-52 list obviously does not have the most accurate gun. 
Um, if it was like that, then this thing would be definitely overpowered. And now, as you can see, looks like our team has uh, managed to win the important position. The, um, the enemy team managed to win the heavy flank, however, our team has set up a superb defensive position in on the uh, A, B and C, A positions. And so, um, what we can do is we can try to win, to finally win the game. And this is, the, in my opinion, this can be done by making a flanking maneuver via the one lane all the way down to the enemy team. And this is exactly what I want to do. So far, I only made 343 damage. However, I got 1367 spotting damage. And this will be very, very sweet for my income. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a shot on the Alpine Tiger. I think he's doing a great job hiding um, behind the, the rock here. And that is exactly what you want to do um, if you are, if the enemy team is making pressure and if you are playing on the southern side of the map. Fortunately, he is lit up by our ELC even, and let's see if he burns down. Looks like he does not have a fire extinguisher, which is great for us. Okay, unfortunately, 187 hit points left, and uh, I was thinking of um, coming to a standstill here because uh, I think he is in a quite in a good position. However, I think he will um, keep hiding. Nice, and now he's taken out. He will keep hiding uh, behind the rock, and so I can just move forward. And now, as you can see, that is another tip I have for you if you want to make credits. You should be the first one of your team to, collo to collect spotting damage. As you can see, right now, this is not definitely not one of the strongest games. However, um, so far I made 8,000... Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I wish it was 8,000. I made uh, 1,862... Uh, damage and now I'm not even pushing forward to the WZ to face him frontly. Instead, I just want to um, flank him, get all the spotting damage, and instead concentrate off where I can bring my my tank to a advantageous position. And that is to play hull down because the the upper hull of this tank is uh, not the upper hull, but the the turret armor is very very strong. And so um, if I only show my turret, then the enemy team does have a very hard time penetrating me. And as you can see, this worked out. Now I made uh, 918 damage and 2,700 uh, spotting damage. And now it is time to cash in my my remaining hit points and to make some more damage. Now I will use this uh, rack here in order to defend myself. Here you go. And now let's see if I can finish him off. No, he is finished off by our team, but as you can see, um, in the end, a very very solid result. Um, 1,258 damage is not the greatest damage of all times. However, 3,100 spotting damage, and uh, so combined we made 4,300 damage. And now let's see how much credits we could get with uh, playing a premium tank, with uh, doing quite some amount of damage, and with activating our personal reserves. Alright, so as you can see, we made uh, 178,000 credits, 2,900 XP, and if we go to the score, as you can see, only 1,258 damage. However, if we now go to the second page, uh, to the third page, as you can see, we, due to our 3,111 spotting damage, we made 85,000 credits. We got 42,000 for our reserve. Obviously, we had some uh, additional bonus, and then in the end, we made 172,000 credits with only one game. All right, we are back in the second game on Retro, and as usual, let's first of all take a look at the map. Spawning on Retro in the north, the game usually develops like this. And in my opinion, there are two options that you have. You can either support the heavy flank in fighting in the city and go to this position because then you can spot all the heavy tanks that are moving towards the city. Or the other, um, the other option, and I think this is the, uh, the most important option, is to win this dip right here because with controlling this dip, you are more or less RT safe and you can uh, win the southern flank. And most of the time, in my opinion, it is better to win the southern flank because then you um, are much faster in winning the southern flank um, compared to winning the city in the north and uh, with winning the southern flank you most most likely win the game. Alright, so this time as you can see we are in a top tier situation and I definitely want to 
go with my plan A and win the southern flank. Now, as you can see, there are not too many tanks supporting my position and I'm trying to signal them that I do need some help. However, as being a top tier tank, I definitely think that I am in a strong position and I can definitely even win the southern flank without having too much of support. However, with only one or two tanks supporting me, I definitely cannot play as aggressively as I wanted to. And so my game plan changes quite a little bit, um, meaning that I will definitely not push um, over this little ridge line here into the down into the ditch, but I instead um, want to make a first shot on the enemy team and let's see if it works out there was a tree knocked down so the enemy team is already there here you go we can get we can get first of all the first spot and we can make damage on the enemy progetto 46 which is very good because he is the most dangerous player on the enemy team um, together with the cs 52 list okay now oh, that is very very unfortunate fortunately we bounce this shot this player is uh, yeah seems to be a very very bad player first of all he's blocking me and then he's just moving down towards the ditch throwing away his tank and this is definitely what you should never do in world of tanks so um very bad job by this player now looks like the enemy team has won the ditch that was not a surprise because the enemy enemy team had some support and as you can see i was spotted i think uh, by the cromwell which is sitting in this bush so i definitely do need to retreat and i think that our what is it the progetto 46 yeah uh, progetto 46 and the light tank are basically cut off however there's not a lot that i can do i hope that i will get support now from my team um if this situation happens what your team should do is man the tank destroy position that i am pinging right now the c and b zero position because um with me spotting here in the front they can just uh, farm credit uh, farm farm damage in this position looks like the enemy pool is making pressure is playing aggressively but he should definitely be punished um, for this aggressiveness i just have to turn around and see oh, here you go there you go that's what i meant and now my goal here is to um to hold this flank as long as possible because it looks like our team is managing to win the northern flank in the city so let's see um i'm trying to play hull down here and angle my armor as uh, as good as i possibly can and now as i said my goal here is to spot for the enemy team and to hold this flank as long as possible I'm trying to signal for support so that maybe the cromwell and also the hellcat are um moving towards my position or at least to the B and C zero position. Looks like our team is kind of having problems winning in the city and the uh, T-43 is uh, fighting against the Alpine Tiger which is an, uh, kind of an unfair fight. Let's see. Okay, here you go. go. I think I can punish this. Yeah, here you go. Obviously, 300, 320 alpha damage against the tier 6 tank is superb. And I will win every one-on-one uh, -on -one trade whatsoever because my alpha damage is the highest in this game. At least uh, if we don't take the heavy tanks, the heavy TA tank into consideration. All right, perfect. I could get rid of the Stritzwang 74. And now here you go. I think I can... Okay, the, the Rheinmetall is switching towards me. So I am preloading um, the... HE ammunition. Unfortunately, this shot bounces, and now... Uh, ah, too bad. I wanted to definitely not take this shot. However, um, I don't want to use the repair kit so early. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I can definitely penetrate the... Oh, that was bad aiming by me. Fortunately, the uh, Rheinmetall Borsig Waffentrager also bounces shot, which is good. And now, here you go. That's what I want to do. I want to penetrate his upper or his turret. Um, yeah, armor, so to speak. But obviously, we all know that this tank does not have any armor. Fortunately, I was a little bit nervous right here, not making the shot. However, I should definitely be able to get rid of him. There you go. That was a little luck. But 
with only two shots I can ma I could make uh, 750 damage which is awesome and now loading back to okay looks like the enemy progetto is pushing myself and yeah, fortunately he is uh, finishing me off however we are winning this uh, this battle because we managed as being a top tier medium tank to hold the southern flank and we made uh, 1800 damage 1000 spotting damage so so this time only um, only in parentheses um, 2800 damage combined I think another solid result and um, yeah let's uh, wait and see um, yeah but obviously I think we can go fast forward and um, see what kind of result we had in this game all right so in this battle we made 116,000 credits as you can see 3,800 um, XP um, and now let's uh, go to the second page as you can see 1,800 damage in this game and if we see the detailed report we made 1,000 spotting damage and so we got uh, 77,000 credits 38,000 this time with our personal reserve uh, bring us bring us to this result in the end we made uh, 100,000 credits just in this game all right guys that was it for today with a little tutorial on how to increase your credit income in world of tanks do you agree with me do you also think that a tier 8 premium tank is necessary just leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing to my channel and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.